Some album or another, I do not exactly recall. Oh yeah, I got to tell a comedy joke. Sidewalk, sidewalk! That's not the comedy joke. If you heard us play that song, that would be the comedy joke. Somebody told me that Gene October's band, which I cannot name or ruin the joke, is playing up the street. Is that true or is that not true? No, 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 no. They're not playing? <laughs> Let's just say they were. Because last night, his band was playing at the Middle East in Boston while we were playing at TT the Bears, correct? correct. But just, just go work with me on this, okay. Pretend that Gene October's band is playing up the street. Hey, the right you want it all, San Luis. Very well, sir. If you would like to, you know, reenact your favorite Chelsea song, I could light you on fire. And you go, I'm on fire! I'm on fire! I think they're me! I'm on fire! We still have fire, but that's okay. Okay, let's just pretend. I've already gotten this far into the comedy joke. I'm gonna have to go all the way through the comedy joke. Let's... Let's just say that Gene October's band is playing up the street, like somebody told me. Let's just say I saw Elvis Costello here, and I said, Elvis, are you going to go up the street and uh, go watch Gene October's band? You know what Elvis Costello would say to me? I don't want to go to Chelsea. Yes, I don't want to go to Chelsea. It's funnier when nobody guesses it. That's a bad comedy joke. That's a fucking... That was good last night. Are you in New York? It was. All right, very well. It's... All right, enough of that. This is the song we wrote after uh, Captain Marvel took a crap on Paul Number One's face while he had Saran Wrap wrapped around it. It's called Nicky Shazam. <laughs>
that's enough. What do you do for two packs of cigarettes? What would he do for two packs of cigarettes? Well, I certainly won't goddamn end the song, right? I'll tell you that much. If we so, he'd like have a little Ronometer. It'd be a little stick tied off of his head. But actually, what would Ron do for a $21 stripper drink in Baltimore that comes with a free dick rub? He didn't get the dick rub. He didn't get the dick rub. All right. Never mind that. This isn't important. This is sundry Boris, you know, fan shit. Anyway, because we realize how literate you St. Mark's Place, just all St. Mark's Place dwellers are, or whatever the hell it is, I would like, I would like, Matt from Dick Army, you seem like a very intelligent fellow. You are now the official, the official arbiter of taste and grooviness. I hold here the first, well, I'd say 49% of uh, William S. Burroughs' 1964 novel, The Ticket That Exploded. I cannot set the song until you give me a number between 3 and 122. And because you're a smart ass, it does not even have to be an integer. I wear a white hat. <laughs> yeah, we will. Someday he will kill me. All right, sir. Well, she's a girl, actually. 69! She's a girl. Uh, 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 69, I never heard that one before. Ma'am, I asked you on bended knee, because you were going to give us your panties, but then you found out we ran out of I gave Boris my panties buttons. But, but she's, she's still going to give us the panties, actually. Um, I think you should actually choose the number between 3 and 122. 43! Oh, I'm sorry, that question was too hard. We're going to ask a guy. Uh, 45. 45, 45. Hmm, that's rather grave. <laughs> Okay, yeah, that's that's, okay, Chelsea Joker, 45 grade joke. You guys can take your pick. All right, where am I? 40, 41, 42, 43, uh-huh, uh-huh, 45. Well, uh, it's William S. Burroughs, sir. It's going to probably involve a lot of male-on-male -male sodomy and heroin shooting, so I think you'll probably like this particular track. I have a dog, his name is Bill, a walking class with me, sorry, he's inside the park, need a helping hand, understanding how to take five, seven rounds of this, seven, eight, torch, to the east, don't know how they can make you look at things, move, love, do you love me, you're a lettuce, red sheets of paint, hung on me, oh, oh, jelly, the guy's that's off jelly, I've got my skin pouncing, red light clouds of me, I'll be true to you, hula hoops and color form, I'll be true to you, my darling, in my Bradley. <laughs> Let me tell ya. Let me tell ya. 
seen this thing? How many people saw us last time we played Coney Island High? There's no need to scream, I just need a head count. Um, I hope you took great notice of our bass player. That was his second show and our last show with him. Because he sucked, we hated him, he fucking sucked. He was taking his shit when we were all ready to play. If you're gonna take a shit, take it on stage. Anyway, never mind that. Anyway, in case you're wondering who the goofs behind me are, this is actually our original lineup. Who contributed to the history of world culture with a testicle, total machine, the cheese kettle later 45, and nothing else. How's your new Yeah, surrogate part number two. She's breathing down my goddamn cuz or some sort of venereal disease. Anyway, I'm sure you're all familiar with the shtick where I hold up the sign that says UFO, UFO, and you chant. You feel it? You go UFO, UFO. UFO, UFO. Okay, all right, that's cool. You guys got that one. This is the second lesson. Ron is the only guy that can't fucking thump along with the crowd. Just kidding, Ron, I love you. Anyway, this is the second sign. This sign says I, I, Commodore Schmidt Lap. And when you see this sign, if you could favor me by changing I, I, Commodore Schmidt Lap, that would be really great. Would you like to try this? Very well. Three, two, one, go. This is the most excellent crowd for a city that hasn't won a uh, AFC Super Bowl since 1969 and a uh, regular Super Bowl since they played the Bills as somebody that doesn't really count. 
Let's go back to the UFO, UFO thing. If you would, if you would. Okay, ready? 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 Are you ready? Okay, I'm ready. UFO! 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 UFO!